Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Brian Ju. Get ready for me on Imagine TV Network. Growing up, I was a big, big fan of the Jackson family. And of course, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, um, the Jackson Five. I just, you know, saw that and I was like, wow, one day I want to do that. He's always inspired me to do great things and of course above all uh, a lot of rappers and singers sing about money and, and fame and love but Michael Jackson also sang about peace and joy and happiness for children and peace of the world and that he inspired me to do the same thing that's why I think uh, not just being Brian Jew the singer or Fly This Guy that's why I did the third wave thing too as well because third wave was focusing on that aiming for that you know peace in Africa for kids who don't have homes who don't have clothes you know and you know, he was my biggest inspiration back then and still till to now. I was three or four years old. I remember wearing these black uh, slacks that came up to here and wore the white socks and the penny loafers. I used to not completely dress like him, but I always had my shoes, my socks, and my pants like him all the time. And my mom would always make fun of me when I was younger, like, why do you wear your clothes like that? I was like, Mom, it's Michael Jackson, you know? and. I remember looking in the mirror and making the Michael Jackson sounds and stuff like that. So me and my brother, I remember we used to practice how to dance and sing in front of the mirrors and stuff like that. And then when J Michael Jackson became a solo artist, that inspired me to want to be a performer more. I was like, wow, this is what I have to do. This is my calling. The feeling when you're on stage and you're just actually singing to somebody and the reaction they give you by smiling from your performance is the best feeling in the world. You know, I, I mean, I love doing other things, but that overall is the best thing for me. There's nothing really big and special. I feel like, I mean, every album to me is special, but the big thing is the sound of this album is a lot different. And I guess that's what I wanted to show people that I can be different. And that's why I called it Reborn because it's a different me. Uh, a different me has been created, and that's why I call it Reborn with the album. I mean, Let This Die, Can't Stop, um, Don't Tell Me I'm Wrong, Domino, like all that speaks of who I am. You know, Domino's a slower track, um, Can't Stop's more of an upbeat track, Let This Die is a beat with a ballad, uh, a ballad with a beat to it, and all that is who the new Brian kind of is. That's why I wanted to call it Reborn. Me and Tiger JK has over, always been friends. We have a good chemistry, and I know he's a great rapper. So that's one thing, one person I really wanted to work with. Jay Park, same thing. Um, when I'm with him, it's just, you know, like, he's like my little brother, want to take care of him. And then I know he's a talented kid. That's why we got to work together. Flo Sick, same thing. Me and him, when we hang out, we're goofy. Flo is a goofy, goofy guy from the Asiatics, and that's why he featured on the English part of uh, Let This Die. Uh, Jade actually is one person I don't physically or uh, personally know either, but uh, just her sound. I've known her since her you know, group days when she was in Sweetbox and her voice was so great that I've always wanted to do something with her and to be able to have that chance was amazing.